quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Watson looks to throw again. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. First down, Texan. On first down, Watson. Open man is Cooks. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks there to make the grab. And the Texans get a bit closer. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. You ain't going to burn me. Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Bradley Roby there defensively. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Brady will try again on second down. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's Kong. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 more yards there and another first down. That's another Buccaneers. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. The tackle made by Whitney. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine at their 48-yard line. On second and nine, Brady escaping the pressure right. This is Miller, complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Fourth down and one. Now they go for it on fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. The Bucs try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And this Texans defense stands tall. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Second and 10. <laughs> to throw again, Watson. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's got a first down there after a gain of about 12 as the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. First down. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 
A throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. There again is Cooks complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. you got to know they're looking for their number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that that time? They weren't. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Now it's Watson. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. He's back to throw. And he's into the end zone. No flags. It's a touchdown. And now a two-point conversion. And we'll be tied here in the final minute. Do they have one big call left? Here we go. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Watson down to throw. And it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And they will watch this one land in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. 25-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. They get and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Eric Murray. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. And he'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. So they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. So after the INT, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. The former first-round pick, Vernon Hargraves, the one who was there defensively. From the 21, it's second and 10. Back to throw, Brady. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Intended for Chris Godwin. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Now Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Eric Murray. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Right now, you know that the heart is pumping for Kaimi Fairbairn. They'll spot it at the 40. It's a 50-yard kick for the win. This game remains tied here in the fourth. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort.
The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Tie game, probably time for one final play here. What do you do in this spot? Now you're thinking about Hail Mary. You've got to find a way to heave it all the way towards. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in. Are you kidding me? How do you get that up? One of the most improbable ways to finish a game. And they do win it on the final play. Absolute bedlam. You can forget overtime. What a finish. And this crowd in a frenzy. As well they should be. That's the type of ending that you actually pay money to see. And when it turns out in your direction, oh, yeah, you feel real good about that one. Let's face it, there are a few people who travel to see their team. 